Go on. Police officer! Police officer with taser! Anyone inside, identify yourself! What's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Police with taser! Taser officer! What's happened there? You've been sprayed! Police officer with taser! It's ammonia! Watch yourself, ammonia! Get some water for Sarge! Out here now. Stand by, stand. This is a shocking clip of body cam footage where a police officer was sprayed with ammonia by an offender. Please be sure to watch the whole video to watch the whole body cam footage and find out what actually happened in this case. If you end up enjoying this type of content, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Today's video will be about Paul Elliott. Paul Elliott squirted ammonia from a household bleach bottle towards officers as they climbed the stairs at a house in Ash Grove, Darwin, in April 2019. Sergeant Andy Gore, who was at the head of the party, took the full brunt of the attack when the gel-like substance was squirted into his face and ran down into his left eye and mouth, Manchester Crown Court was told. Two of his colleagues, PC Lee Richards and Dan Stockley, also received injuries after coming into contact with the liquid. Prosecuting Tim Evans said, the officers had attended a distress call and had to force entry into the property. They made their way up the stairs in a line with Sergeant Gore first and PC Richards and Stockley behind them. The defendant appeared at the top of the stairs and sprayed ammonia at them. Sergeant Gore's victim personal statement said, before I had the chance to react, I felt like a gel-like liquid going into my forehead and then into my eye and then into my mouth. The burning started straight away and my mouth was on fire. I have never felt pain like it before and it was going down my throat into my lungs. I thought I am in serious trouble here. I then blacked out or fainted and the next thing I remember I was stood at the kitchen sink. I thought I was going to die. In sentencing Paul Elliot, who has 14 prior convictions for 40 different offences. Mr Justice David said, Sergeant Gore was very badly injured. He's had two serious operations in his eye since that haven't been successful and he now faces a long period where his eye will need to be treated. You were utterly reckless with that man's life. You are a man with a bad record going back many years. Everything that happened on the 16th of April 2019 happened while you were on licence. You are a dangerous man and present a significant risk of harm to the public in the future. After passing the sentence of 14 years and 6 months, Mr Justice Davis addressed officers attending on the night who were also present in court along with Sergeant Gore. He went on to state, the last thing you want when you attend the court is for all of this to happen, but the public depend on you to do that and carry on and we are very very grateful for you for that. I will now proceed to show you the full body cam footage that was released by the police. Viewer discretion is advised as the footage is quite intense. Go on, Dan. Do you think, Dan? Go on. Go on. <laughs> Police know yourself! Police officer with taser! Anyone inside, identify yourself! What's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Police with taser! Taser officer! What's happened there? You've been sprayed! Police officer with taser! It's ammonia! Watch yourself, ammonia! Get some water for Sarge! Fuck out here now! Stand by, stand by! Fuck off! Now! Stand by! Get downstairs now! Show yourself now! Get downstairs now! He's just on the corner, he's got a spray can or something. Body cameras on. Get an ambulance. <coughs> can't breathe. I can't breathe. Can Go get out there. Okay. <coughs> get someone at the back. Anyone at the back garden? No. <coughs> Get one on the back, one on the front. <sighs> Andy, are you right? He's gone. You are? 
Simone, shout that up. He's out! Which way? Front or back? No, he's fucking like that happened. Where is he? Get that fence through now. That's it. Where is he? Police with taser, show yourself! Hold it there. Check Lee. Lee, check there. Have you got a torch, Lee? Do not move! Do not move! Taser officer! Get down the floor now! You extending? Get him cuffed, I'll keep power on! Get him cuffed, get him cuffed! Get him cuffed, he's still power on! Get power off now! Turn it off! Hold fine, he's got something behind him, what's that? No, private! Stand by! Stand by. Body cameras are on. What have you Males detained. Yeah. What's he got in his back pocket there? A nice screwdriver. Mind yourself on that screwdriver. Screwdriver in back pocket. Give us an arm. Give, Give us an arm. arm. Give us an arm now. Stop resisting. Give us the arm. Bring him a lick. Stop resisting. Give us the arm now. Give us your arm now. Come here, come here. Stop resisting yeah. now! We've got, it. We've got it, we've got it. Yeah. Get it behind your back. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Have to trust being confirmed that it's dealt with. Speaking outside Manchester Crown Court after the sentencing, Sergeant Andy Gore said he was happy with the sentence. He went on to say, I think it's fair. It sends out the right message that offences against the police will not be tolerated. He said he wasn't expecting him to get life, but he was expecting a lengthy sentence. I feel no anger towards him and don't see this as an attack on me personally, but as an attack on the police service. The last six months have been horrific, but it's a relief to know that justice will be served to protect those who protect the public. So my thoughts on this case are quite brief, to be honest. Um, I'd like to commend the officers who were taking part on, on that night and, yeah, just say well done to them because I've been quick to slate police officers on my channel for their failings and the systematic failings of the police as well but on this occasion we can see the bravery of the men and to see a man get attacked with ammonia that can be anyone's dad or granddad or uncle or whatever and it's never nice to see something like that it actually just goes to show that when these police actually come to calls 999 calls and they respond to certain incidents they never know what's around the corner I'm sure Sergeant Andy Gore had no idea that the guy had ammonia, but shows the unpredictability of the nature of their job, to be fair. And yeah, I'd like to commend them on this occasion, but I don't think it excuses anything that's gone on in the past. But at the same time, there is the human element and I do feel empathy with the man that was attacked with ammonia. That's all for this case. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe.